welcome back so next we are going to see the quicktime app in the mac os now quicktime plays all of your videos so these videos that i made if i click on them in this video we are going you can see you just heard that that's basically is being played in quicktime now um, let me see if i can mute it i just muted my screen let's see and i don't see anything popping up over here so basically it's playing from within the file in that uh, icon we're going to launch the quicktime and see this in action now if we go to finder and the application will find quicktime somewhere here right there quicktime player so quicktime player is basically built in into different apps for example, in TV, when the, you, the TV is playing a video, if you have a subscription or you are any using it, that to view anything, for example, you have an Apple TV subscription or you have a subscription from, for example, Spectrum TV or anything online, that's being played in QuickTime actually in the back end. Double click it and QuickTime is here. Now, if you were to go and open, you can, there are two ways to go about it. You can go from here or you can actually go through these menus different if you see is there any movie here or not on the desktop we have a few so for example if I were to go and open it that is the video now I'm gonna try to play it but before that I'm gonna pause the video sorry and mute the video and now I can play now if you were to go and make it faster you can see it's being played and I can le release the cursor where I want it to start and you can uh, from there I can pause it to go to the next video if I click here uh, sorry it it it's playing at twice the speed five times 10 30 wow 60 and here we I'm gonna pause it now now this one is basically send it to a different probably screen yes it is this one pro is for the share and this I can write here is the uh, video in i believe it's called or line in something like that so basically it sticks out and then is permanently on the top on your screen if you want you can move it wherever you want it on the corner and in either corner if you want you can make it bigger so you know you want whatever you're playing you don't want to miss it maybe you're doing something web browsing or, or working on an app and you, you're watching a video on the side you don't want to miss any scene so you just want to make it to hover over there uh, permanently to go back in the video in you click that icon and you're back in the full screen or within the quick app now there was one more feature that I wanted to show you that is probably in somewhere in the edit let's uh, exit out of here from the quick time open let's see this one and is there an option to add it this is if you want to make a copy and okay I can't find but let's go if I were to go and open desktop and open with quick time app store so quick look if you were to go quick look it uses the quick time in the back end as well okay again seems to find that option that was for the trim basically you could trim uh, a big movie into a smaller chunk it's for you know if uh, you wanted to you want it to be uh, a certain probably a feature or something you know uh, that you want to highlight so you can focus on that feature in that movie particular movie and basically what happens is for example if the video is for five minutes and that feature is only feed being uh, uh, videoed or being documented in the for 30 seconds you can trim it down to that 30 seconds and it will create another uh, um, a new uh, movie unlike the uh, um, 
photos app we saw where actually the same picture was being uh, edited or you know being saved with the updated version even though all the information in the back was saved uh, trim will basically create an entirely different uh, an, a new uh, movie where you will have both copies of those movies all right so I, since i can't find it um, and there's no way of me pausing this video here i'm gonna wrap this video here if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i'll see you in the next one